Hey guys, this is Kevin here from Bitten Apple TV in conjunction with the kid from the radio. We are here at Garden State Comic Fest. Ready to battle? Ready to interview. Let's go. Hey guys, this is Kevin here from Bitten Apple TV in conjunction with It Came From The Radio. We are here down at Garden State Comic Fest and we have stumbled upon Agent 1.22. Now we're here with co-creator Tom Deere. We're going to be finding out a little bit more about this intriguing, intriguing badass woman with a teddy bear. Uh, <laughs> so tell us a little bit more about your book. Uh, Agent 122 is a science fiction comic book. It's 100% digitally painted. So that means every single panel in the comic book is done in the computer by our artist, Doug Schuler. He's known for um, drawing Magic the Gathering card art, but he's been trying his hand at uh, computer animated comic books. He's, he's doing an incredible, incredible job. So what is she doing? Is she, she looks like she's either running away from a very bad Bad, uh, bad trial trauma, or is she running out saving the world? She is saving the world. Uh, she's a cyborg with no memory. She works for the agency, and uh, when they need her, they literally thaw her out, give her enough memories for the mission. She goes on a very dangerous mission. Right now, she's trying to find out why the Tempest virus is ravaging the outer colonies. If she does a good job, she gets her teddy bear. If she doesn't do a good job, she doesn't get her teddy bear. Then they take her memories away, freeze her, stick her in the locker, and that's her life until it isn't anymore. That's intense. That's so twisted. I do have to ask, though, what's with the teddy bear? Is that her only link to, I guess, her, her memories? Uh, it is a link to her past, you will find out. But also, as she is Agent 122, that means there's been 21 versions before her. So the teddy bear kind of helps to psychologically stabilize her. That is, oh my god, that's <laughs> that's intense, guys. <laughs> um, so when it comes to uh, this book, what is your favorite aspect to writing and creating this book? Like your personal, um, I guess, favorite part of it? I love the journey. I love the growth um, because she's in a she's in a ship, the mothership, the Nemosini, which is an artificial intelligence, and she talks about the role of being a mother. And you notice she starts out bald. She has a teddy bear. She barely speaks. And as time progresses, she starts to grow and mature. And looking through the reader's eyes, you learn about her and you learn about the world around her. So I, my favorite part is the the personal journey of her growth as a human being and trying to figure out what's going on in the world around her and why she's so important to stop it. That is us on a daily basis, guys. <laughs> if you wanted to know what she'd look like as a cool cyborg, kicking butt everywhere, this is you right now. Um, so for those who are watching and they're obviously drawn in, they're like, I have to get this, where can they find you? You can go to Agent 122.com and we're also on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter and you can buy our comic on Amazon Kindle and Comixology and Indie Planet if you're into digital versions. Make sure you guys check them out and find out exactly what's going on with her past and what happened to the, the other 21 versions of her. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye. so much for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed the show enjoyed the interviews and getting to know our local comic books there's so much that we can do don't get me wrong we all love marvel we all love dc but i want to find more i want to find more <laughs> thank you guys so much for tuning in be sure to give me a clicking the thumbs up as well as clicking the button down there to subscribe just do it right now i mean the button is blinking it's winking at you it's like baby you want more and you do bye